Now, I've already discussed collecting like terms uh, a couple of sections ago, but in this section, what I want to do is I want to reinforce that as a type of question that you could face and go through some more examples of it. So let's be clear on what we mean by collecting like terms in algebra. So let's just take a look at a term. So let's look at 3x, for example. What you need to be able to do is to look at that term and break it up into two pieces. The two pieces are where the number is and where the letters are, essentially. So the number at the front, this is referred to as the coefficient. Okay. And what's key about collecting like terms is that what you need to be able to do is spot when the algebra bit is precisely the same. Okay, so let's take a look at, for example, adding on 5x. So now we have another term. If we split this up into its two pieces, we find that we have 5 as the coefficient, and then we've got x as the algebra bit, okay, the letters. And the letter bit, the algebra bit, is precisely the same. So that means that you can collect those terms together and simplify this to be 8x. So we have 3x, we have 5x, we're adding them together, we get 8x. Now, if the algebra bit is slightly different, and doesn't matter how slightly different it is, you cannot combine the terms, you cannot collect them. So if I change this to 3x plus 5x squared, the algebra bit is different. And so we cannot collect them. In fact, this is as simplified as I can write this. OK, so 3x, 5x squared cannot be combined because the x and the x squared are different. Likewise, I could change this to 5xy. So the algebra bit here is now xy. Over here it's x, so they're different. So you can't combine them. Okay, so the key thing here is that the algebra bit has to be the same in order for you to be able to combine them. Let's take a look at one more example. Let's say I had 2a plus 5b plus 7ab plus 6a. Okay, so I've got four terms. So what you're looking for is whether the algebra bit is the same in any of these cases. So regardless of what the coefficient is, don't worry about that, you're looking just at the algebra bit. So here it's a. Here it's b, so we can't combine those two because they're different. Here it's a, b, which is different to b, which is different to a, so we can't combine that either. But then the last term here is a, and I've got an a back here. So actually I can collect those like terms together. So we can collect those and we'll have 2a plus the 6a is 8a, but the 5b and the 7ab, I can't do anything with those. So they must remain as they are. And that is as simplified as I can make that expression. Okay, so you're looking to see whether you've got the same algebra bit to the right of the coefficient.